Hey guys, Appalachian Empire here today with another gun review, and today we have a nice little piece of history. What do we got here today, Drew? It is a uh, remanufactured M1 carbine made by uh, Auto Ordnance, put out by Car Arms. Uh, really nice gun. Uh, we picked this up from Price's Creek in uh, Burnsville, North Carolina, correct? Yep. Uh, for $800, so that's about the price range. Uh, in the box, uh, you get your standard gun paperwork, uh, you know, safety pledges, etc. You're going to get a 15 round magazine and a uh, lock. Uh, nothing too flashy here, nice little um, foam case, nice for carrying it, uh, but like I said, nothing too flashy. Alright, enough about the box, let's get to the gun. Alright, so this is a 30 caliber M1 carbine. It uh, has a barrel length of 18 inches, and what's really funny, in the paperwork, it says that it's California approved. So for all you <laughs> California folks out here, you can legally own this rifle. Um, it weighs about 5.4 pounds. Uh, it's got a nice wood finish on it. Um, like I said, it has a 15 round magazine. Uh, anything you'd like to add, Drew? That's about it. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, so the mag release is on this side, opposite, right? Is it, uh, is it ambidextrous? No. No. All right, so we got the mag release it on is, the uh, on the right side. Right side. Um, it is a semi-automatic rifle, so you get one uh, bullet per trigger pull. Um, the mag just slaps up in there. It's not uh, like an M14 or anything. You don't have to just slide straight up. Slide straight up. Um, Safety is here in front of the trigger. It's like a 22 rifle or something like that. But it's just real basic. Does it say what uh, poundage it's got on the trigger? Um, nothing in the nothing so. in the manual. Um, what did you say, Drew? Pretty light. Uh, nah, you're probably looking at a six, seven pound trigger, about like an AR pull. Um, Close on the, to it. On this side, you've got a nice little sling amount, and it also goes through the stock as well. Um, all right, enough talking about it. Let's shoot it. Alright guys, we're back with the M1 carbine. Drew's going to show you how to load it real quick. Alright, you have two. Alright, well, first I have ten rounds in here. It's got two tabs on the back of the magazine. You take it, put the tabs back towards you. That lock in. Ride the slide back. You ready to go. Alright, we're shooting um, a Quella. A little cheap, uh, just FMJ. Uh, brass, we got some other ammo on the table. Uh, arms core, we'll try that too. All right, uh, we're shooting at about 65 yards for the VAC target. We got a GoPro downrange. Let's see what Drew can do. You feeling confident, Drew? You ready? Yeah. All right, got some steel ringing. Let's move the camera so you can see what he's aiming at. All right, Drew, go ahead. Go for that back target again. Oh, we have a malfunction. It's an easy fix. You just uh, cock it back. Look. Now we're going to miss. And we're clear. All right, guys, let's uh, load her back up and shoot it fast. All right, uh, real quick, while Drew's loading up, we're shooting the arms court. As you can see. Maybe this ammo won't miss the target. <laughs> Drew's a little salty. Uh, this is some really cheap ammo. Doesn't even have a copper jacket. Anyways. <laughs> hey, it's supposed to be, it was 2085. That'd be good ammo. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's load it up and shoot it fast. All right, guys, Drew's going to shoot it real fast for you. you ready? All right, and clear. We're not Oh, clear. nope, jam. One right. more. One more. <laughs> See if we can hit the target. Oh, oh I missed. All right, my turn. Shot today. One thing we forgot to mention, uh, there's a little button. Uh, you can lock back the uh, bolt. It's really hard to do, though. All right, here I go. Got 10 rounds. Shoot a few fast, maybe try to hit something. All right.
Huh, look at that, Drew. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, keep talking. Easy now. And we're Man, clear. And as you can them. see, you got to get it just right. And then it locks back. All right, let's finish up and uh, give it some final thoughts. All right, Drew, final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. Overall, pretty fun little sporter gun. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, mostly, I would see this gun as being, I'll shoot it two or three times a year or something like that. Other than that, put it up, have you a nice little thing, World War II M1 carbine. Just, you know, yeah. it's not a shooter. It is. You can. Don't recommend it. It does jam. Don't know if it's just where it's still new. Might be it ain't got enough full on it, which is very unlikely, but... I mean, overall, it's a nice gun. It does have a metal butt pad, you know. It's a nice wood finish. Looks good, but I mean, yeah, it, it's worth it. How if about you're not gonna be shooting at people with it? Or, well, that's what I was about to ask or, next. You know. <laughs> what do you think about home defense-wise? Uh, it'd be okay, but <laughs> the the jamming issue. You yeah. don't know when it's gonna do it, and I. You could do it. You just have to maybe run a few hundred rounds to it, make sure it's not going to jam. But there is still that case. But for the money, if you want just a original looking M1 carbine, uh, it's, it's a good deal. A lot cheaper than buying a real one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, this has been the uh, M1 carbine from Auto Ordnance. Auto Ordnance. Uh, again, you can pick these up for around $800. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And hey, hit that subscribe button. Help us out, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye.